Have you ever wondered how NASA brought cars to the moon? I am not talking about any cars like this. I am talking about special vehicles which are way cooler than you might think. You don't want to miss other videos about our endless universe? Then like this video and follow this account for more. However, let's start with the history of the lunar rovers. The story begins in the 1960s. NASA discussed the need for a lunar surface vehicle. In early planning for the Apollo program, it had been assumed that two Saturn V launch vehicles would be used for each lunar mission, one for sending the crew aboard a lunar surface module to the lunar orbit, landing and returning, and a second for sending an LSM truck with all of the equipment, supplies, and transport vehicle for use by the crew while on the surface. With pressure from the Congress to hold down Apollo costs, Saturn V production was reduced, allowing only a single launch per mission. Any roving vehicle would have to fit on the same lunar module as the astronauts. In early 1966, the vehicle from the Brown Engineering Company became available for examinations. Holy Jesus! What is that? What the f*** is that? They built a small test track with craters and rock debris where the several different mock-ups were compared. It became obvious that a small rover would be best for the proposed missions. The test vehicle was also operated in remote mode to determine characteristics that might be dangerous to the driver, such as acceleration, bounce height and turnover tendency as it traveled at higher speeds and over simulated obstacles. Four lunar rovers were built, one each for Apollo missions 15, 16, and 17 and one used for spare parts after the cancellation of further Apollo missions. The lunar rover vehicle were used for greater surface mobility during the Apollo J-class missions, including Apollo 15, 16, and 17. The rover was first used on 31 July in the year 1971 during the Apollo 15 mission. This greatly expanded the range of the lunar explorers. Previous teams of astronauts were restricted to short walking distances around the landing site due to the bulky space suit equipment required to sustain life in the lunar environment. The range was operationally restricted to remain within walking distance of the lunar module in case the rover broke down at any point. The rovers were designed with a top speed of about 13 kilometers per hour. <laughs> But how exactly did the rovers get to the moon's surface? The final vehicle was lightweight and sturdy. It was an open design with wire mesh wheels designed to not sink into the lunar regolith. Seat belts kept the astronauts in their seats, and there were places to store all of their tools. But the lunar rover would be completely useless if engineers couldn't figure out to get it to the moon's surface, and also figure out a way for astronauts to deploy it and use it wearing their bulky EVA gloves. The solution was to fold the lunar rover into itself and pack it in quadrant one of four available storage bays on the lunar module's descent stage. One once on the surface, the astronauts just had to set up their seats, put in their footholds and the central control panel, and then they were off to rove the moon. And the lunar rovers did exactly what they were designed to do. They seriously increased the amount of ground the later missions were able to cover during those brief avas on the surface. Apollos 11, 12, and 14 covered a total combined distance of about 7.08 kilometers. Apollo 15, the first to fly with a lunar rover, tripled that record covering a total of 27.36 kilometers. Apollo 16 covered 27 kilometers and Apollo 17 set the record covering 35.37 kilometers. All three missions left their lunar rovers on the moon's surface. They weren't designed to come back to Earth, but they did have cameras, and it was the cameras on board those lunar rovers that allowed NASA to watch the missions taking off from the moon. For the end of the video, I have a little question for you. Would you try to drive with the lunar rovers on the moon's surface if you could? Write it in the comments. I am really hyped to see your comments, and I hope I see you all in the next video. Again.